Hello, my name is Sam Farmer and I'm the principal here at Rob Bloomfield. I'd like to first of all welcome you to a very different type of open evening and orientation to our school. It's not ideal. We want to see you, we want to meet you, we want to talk to you, we want to answer your questions and we want you to see our school come to life in person. But we can't do that this year and for very good and safe reasons. However, we're very excited by the programme that we've put together. And actually, we think that this year we'll be able to offer far more to you as a potential year five than ever before. This film, you're going to see the life of Robert Bloomfield. You're going to see some of our lessons, you're going to meet some of our staff, and we're going to take you through our school, show you what we're proud of. But beyond that, we want to hear from you. And we want to gather your feedback and hear your questions. So after this video, there'll be an opportunity for you and your parents to submit your questions to us. And what we're then going to do is collate them all together and use the next week in school to answer them. But not just hear from me, to hear it from the students, to hear it from the people that count the most. So let's take a close look at our school. As a Year 5, you will have your own dedicated space in the school. This is the Year 5 building, brand new and purpose-built just for you. Our learning environments in Year 5 are designed deliberately to excite and encourage your academic and pastoral progress. We do appreciate that some of you are coming to us from very small lower schools, so we want to create a secure environment for you to flourish in. As well as state-of-the-art facilities inside, we also have extensive outdoor play spaces and learning spaces. But don't worry, we'll make sure you don't get lost. Hi Year 4, I am Mrs Brown and I am the Head of Year 5 here at Robert Bloomfield. Hi, I'm Mrs Mills, I'm the Assistant Head of Year 5 here at Robert Bloomfield. And we, along with the eight form tutors, uh, will be looking after you when you come and start with us in September. So one of the biggest differences here is obviously at lower schools, you had a lot of face-to-face -face contact with your child's teacher. Here, we don't have that because we're trying to transition them into a middle and upper school. So. If you have any questions or concerns, you can email RBA Inquiries, and that will be then designated to the appropriate form tutor, or you can call the school and they will either leave a message for that form tutor, um, or we will get back to you as soon as possible. So you will have lots of um, opportunities, not just being out transfer forms, but also lots of opportunities that we will be sending out uh, videos and excerpts from different pupils across the school, year fives included, but also looking at some of those older children, particularly year sixes who've just gone through the experience that you're going to uh, go through very shortly, and share perhaps some of their concerns and worries that they may have had to start off with, how they dealt with it and how it was for them. Welcome to Bloomfield. Our Year 5 children follow the same lesson time structure as the rest of the school. After morning registration we have an hour of literacy, followed by an hour of numeracy. This happens every day of the week. There is then a mid-morning break, followed by a foundation subject such as humanities before lunch. After lunch, there are two more hours where the children will continue with more active, creative and practical lessons such as PE, design technology, computing, French, music or drama. The day ends with 20 minutes of form time where the children are back with their tutor and are able to reflect on the day and complete some of our SMSC programme. 
We continue to offer a strong Year 5 curriculum, delivering a full range of subjects. Lessons are taught primarily by the class teacher, but also by specialist subject teachers. Our timetable is based on a two-week rotation, with 50 teaching hours in the two weeks. We do try to keep both weeks of the Year 5 timetable the same, as far as we can, as this helps the children to remember their lessons and where they need to be. As you can see, we do place a considerable emphasis on the amount of time spent on English and Maths, as we believe these are the two core skills that set the children up for life. Children's ability levels in these subjects are quickly established at the start of the year and they are then moved into classes where the appropriate stretch and challenge is able to be given to those who are capable of it and intense proactive support is provided for those who need it. Welcome one and all to our brief English tour. You're in year five, let's see what's in store. In the beginning, it's all about me, writing and reading, autobiography. And then someone else, a non-fiction memoir. The journey's begun to know who you are. Dip into Roald Dahl and meet Willy Wonka. Meet Hughes, Iron Man, who with music will conquer. Your craft and perform your own vision. A poet, build confidence, create. You can, and we know it. As, as writers will use the best words we know and join them together as ideas grow and bring them to life, the characters, the setting, will practice together, no time for forgetting. And Malpoga will show us how to survive. In Kansuki's kingdom, our talents will thrive. Meet challenges head on. Learn to value and treasure the magic of wonder. Reading for pleasure. You're in year six, meeting new names. Like the highwayman with his fancy refrains. Down dark ribbon roads, under magic moonlight. His alliterative tale will inspire delight. Then back we all go to the Victorian times. The old cobbled streets and lost child's cries, a tale of resilience and determination before we meet Scrooge, who's facing domination. Through speeches and letters, we'll harness the skill of persuasive words to help us fulfill. Our potential, our aims, our ambitions do sats review and revise and prepare for all of that. Close up any gaps, build on what we know, seize this great chance to show off what we know. And then it's to Disney to celebrate success, explore origins, look beyond the pink dress. Critique them as stories and signs of an era, the stereotypes dated, the message is clearer. A new school for some, but not you or me, we stay with RBA. To key cost in key stage three. For one and for all, it's a novel beginning with fascinating tales that challenge our thinking. From golfish boy and ghost boys to those in striped pajamas, we see through their eyes, get lost in their dramas. Beside these survivors, we share in their fights to be seen as we want to have human rights. Sometimes to move forward, we have to go back to the birth of our language and Grendel's attack with aspects of Norse, Latin, Celtic, and Greek. English loves the magpie from French, magnifique. But there's something else, some of our students find hard. We learn of the Globe and Shakespeare, the Bard. A master of worlds and a creator of many, we sample as texts and insults legendary. Back in modern times, we apply what we know to modern day texts and the truth that they show. Be kind, think again, speak up out and loud, read of the wonder and monsters and always be proud. And so it begins, our final school year. We started with Gothic, a tale of fear. From Jekyll and Hyde to the Telltale Heart, we examine good writing and practice our art. Through Frankenstein's folly, still relevant today, we take Shelley's words and explore what they say. Next a text, just like holes. We know it's not fair. We feel the injustice, the prejudice and the care. We dig into the structure, how it's put together. We create our own pieces, personify the weather. 
and then to Macbeth, a more cautionary tale of manipulation and an ambitious male, we explore staging, adaptations galore, some strange and some bloody, all different, I'm sure. We crawl between lines and go back to the source, understanding why he's writing for King James, of course. And so we arrive at the end of this path. We talk, travel, writing, and how it makes us laugh. From Bill Bryson's world to Miranda Hart's views, we read just the best to help shape our views. As readers as writers, we develop and grow. As presenters and speakers, we share what we know. So, as lovers of English, all we want to say is you're off to great places, the Bloomfield Way. Here at Robert Bloomfield, maths is one of the most important lessons you'll have. Let's take a look at what you'll get up to. When you come up to Year 5, we put you into math sets, and this is so we can set the lesson pace and challenge so that it best suits you. We want you to always be the best that you can be, and this is one of the ways we help you achieve this. Being a core subject, we put a lot of energy into your numeracy skills. We do this by giving you daily numeracy booklets and a weekly problem so you can challenge yourself and also gain some health points. Problem solving is an important part of maths, but it's also really important across the school. We take what you already know, build a foundation and enhance your skill set. What is your favourite time period to learn about? The Romans. What is your favourite era? Oh, I think I like the dinosaur times. I love Hamza Arbia. What are you most looking forward to learning about in humanities? I'm looking forward to learn about learning about the Romans. What has your favourite topic been so far as you've been here? I've enjoyed learning about the Victorians because it's very interesting. It is the aim of the music curriculum to engage the pupils in the direct response to musical sound through practical work. Pupils are aware of the nature of musical expression and its diversity. They develop the ability to create musical ideas and expressions and extend them and respond to them. They also develop their verbal, aesthetic and appraisal skills. The music department enjoys the support of 10 peripatetic instrumental teachers, which is over 40 hours each week from a wide range of instruments from voice and music technology to the more classic piano and violin. Many of our instrumentalists and singers attend the wide range of music clubs and offer at Robert Bloomfield, perform at our solo and ensemble concerts, and then they take the associated board instrumental examinations and even participate in countrywide music festivals. Our many music clubs from orchestra, string group, brass, pop choir, guitar club, keyboard group, recorder group, rock band, all rehearse during the school week and regularly perform at our school concerts. Some musicians also participate in the Best Academies Orchestra and the Best Academies Choir. Bonjour and bienvenue to Robert Bloomfield Academy and to our Modern Foreign Languages Department. At Robert Bloomfield Academy, uh, Year 5s study French for an hour a week uh, and that moves up to two hours a week by the time they get to Year 7. As part of our Modern Languages curriculum, we run a trip to Normandy um, in the summer term of Year 6 and every year we have a Languages Day where all the students in the school are assigned a particular country. Uh, they learn all about that country, their culture and their language and they also have a chance to dress up either in that country's national dress, in that country's uh, flag colours or as a famous person from that country. In year eight, we also teach Italian, Spanish and German. <laughs> During creative practical arts lessons, students will look at the theory behind design along with developing their practical skills.
CPA offers a blend of traditional construction methods along with state-of-the-art technology. Students will explore the theory behind design along with practical applications throughout the curriculum. Our curriculum model in Year 5 explores a rotation of all disciplines, from cooking, technology design, woodshop, fabric, along with art and sculpture and art and design. Students will study a wide range of design influences over time, and use these experiences to enhance their own understanding of the varying disciplines across CPA. Traditional skills such as fabric, needlework and sewing, along with cooking simplistic menus, are enhanced with the use of technology and creative approaches to extending learning. Hello and welcome to Learning Support. My name is Mrs Day and I'm Assistant Principal Overseeing Inclusion at Robert Bloomfield. We are here to support those children with additional needs to achieve their very best in school. We work on an inclusive approach with as much quality first teaching as our first route of support for our children with additional interventions where needed. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mrs Booth. I'm lead same teacher and I'm also a year five teacher. So I work very closely with the children in when we transition, so we work with the lower schools and if needed we can provide additional visits and meetings. We look forward to meeting you soon. Hello everyone and welcome to the pupil support room. So we're now going to go and have a look inside and see what goes on in here, see what this room is like meet some of the staff and find out what we're able to do in pupil support to help. Okay, so we'll have a quick look around the room to start with. First of all, we have a nice quiet room on the side um, that pupils are able to come if they need some time out. And also we work with external agencies who come in and use this space. This is our, our main space where normally we'd be running lunch clubs, uh, lots of intervention groups, um, obviously it's set up so it doesn't look like a classroom, this is a pupil support room, so we have bean bags, we have sofas, um, we have external agencies who come in and run groups as well. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Mr Carmels, I'm the pastoral support manager and welcome properly to pupil support room. Um, we have lots of other staff that work in here as well, um, we have Mrs Doe, Mrs Chapman and Miss Stevens, you'll all get to meet them in due course as well. We also have a very special member of staff here you'll get to see in a few, uh, very shortly. Um, so what we do over here is we're doing the pastoral work, we also do a lot of the safeguarding work. Um, so we support people to kind of maybe have about any worries, some grief, some anger, lots of a different range of emotions. Um, as well, we run lots of lunch clubs over here as well. Open door policy, break time and lunch time. Pupils are able to come in and see us whenever they like. Uh, also, we've got a really good location. We're right near your year five block, which is over there. And um, as well, it's kind of the best way to describe this. It's a cross between like a nurture room for lower school and student services upper school as well so that is kind of in a nutshell what we do here now there's one person i'm sure you're very keen to meet you may have heard a lot about already this is honey it's our school therapy dog honey come and say hello I felt a bit nervous but when I got into the classroom I know that everyone else felt the same so I normally just fit in and it made me feel a lot more happy and comfortable. When I first came to Robert Bloomfield I 
felt a bit nervous because it's a little bit big and then you know, there's a lot of people but you're soon going to know like how it is and every teacher's nice and yeah. Uh, I felt quite excited because I was in the same school as my brother because he only had like a year left here so this was the only thing. I felt nervous on the first day because it was a bit scary starting a new school but by the end of the week I felt a lot more comfortable because I made quite a new, few new friends. Our tutors were really friendly and helped us find new friends to play with. They helped us and reassured us that we weren't and alone and we had people to help us. My year 5 teacher helped me a lot because I looked very nervous when I came in because it was a big school and like, she asked me at time of my hour and she showed me where stuff was and that's very nice. She just helped us out by, we made a fact file to, for us so the teacher knew what we liked and what we disliked and she made a fact file for us so we know what she liked. I was definitely worried about that at first but the teachers were there to help us around and we also had our friends to go around with. We used our diaries to help us during the next week of school because the first week the teachers took us around to help us. At first you were allowed to have teachers to come with you but then you gradually just get used to the school. Obviously there's loads of people around you to ask, there's teachers and you can bring friends around to help you. Also really helpful with the film the map in the back of your diary and if you think you're going to get lost you can just look in the back of your diary. I really like school dinners. I did as well. The best, probably the best one was the fish and chip day because sometimes you get a french fry and it's really nice. Oh, I like those as well. I did like the pasta king as well though. Yeah, there's a lot of other choices as well. You can go you can get jacket potatoes, sandwiches, and you can also get other stuff like hot dogs, burgers, all sorts. Most thing I like about an RBA is all of the um, including in sports with instead of having just boys playing the football, the girls get to play as well. I enjoy making new friends and playing with them and joining the football team. And I love the science lessons because we have our science lab and we do lots of cool experiments like making helicopters and paper aeroplanes. You get to do food, cooking and then I think you get to do puppet making as well. We look after our site and every year make sure that maintenance and upkeep is prioritised when the school is closed. We have purpose-built science labs that have recently been refurbished, along with a fantastic dining service serving a wide range of food, all healthy and all nutritional. So that's us. Well, an introduction at any rate. There is so much more we've got to show you and so many things we want to tell you about. After this video, you'll be invited to send us your questions. Just click on the link that's in the description and we'll come back to you with another video, meeting more of our staff and answering your key specific questions. We are extremely proud to be part of Best Academies Trust, working here at Robert Bloomfield Academy. We cannot wait to meet you. Make sure you explore our website, where you'll find all our curriculum maps and all the adventures that Year 5 undertake when they start with us. Whenever you're watching this, the entire staff at Robert Bloomfield Academy wish you the very best. Be safe, be well, and we look forward to meeting you in person when the time is right.